Hey guys, today I'm making a video about the iPhone 7 in 2018. In early 2018, is it still worth it? Now, clearly this is my iPad, and I've never recorded anything with an iPad before, so. Okay, so this is gonna be interesting. So, this is the iPhone 7, it came out about a year and a half ago. Um. And this is oh, it's all nice. Got this auto box symmetry case on it. Um, and a glass screen protector. So that's how you you always want to get a good case and a glass screen protector, and your your phone will last so much longer. So looking at this, it's not. It's basically no different from the iPhone eight. Hey, where's this autofocus thing? I'm, wait, come on. Come on. Yeah, apparently the iPad doesn't have autofocus. Yeah. So on the bottom there's a lightning connector and speakers, no headphone jack, camera, power button, volume buttons, and mute thingy. And on the top there's nothing. So it's basically the same as the iPhone 8, except the back is metal. And, uh, fake home button, touch ID, and then your PC and camera. It does have the dual speakers, kind of like the iPhone 8 and 10. It's basically an iPhone 8 with a metal back, no wireless charging, and it's a slightly slower. So I guess now it's to look at how it performs. So I would say in terms of performance, it's, it's, you know, very, very good. Everything, all the apps open really fast. Even ones that usually take a while, like Google. Open, oh, come on. Open basically instantly. Um, apps run very well. Um. It's just overall very stable. In in terms of performance, uh, definitely Apple did a great job making this run well on iOS 11. Battery life, not so much. Battery life is not very good with this. I, I don't know why, but the battery life of this thing is pretty bad. Uh, it gets me through the day, but if I if I have a long FaceTime call, then that will just eat up the battery life. If I have the camera app open for any amount of time, that will just kill. Like I I I haven't even had this for a while, but yeah, the battery is the one. No, sorry, the battery is by far the weakest area of this phone. The camera is basically the same as the iPhone 8 and 10. I, I can't, again, the 6s, 7, 8, and 10 look all the, look the same to me. Basically, in, in, in the camera, they, they basically have the same camera. Um, the screen on this is really good. It's the same size as the 6, 6s, and 8. And it's basically the same as all of those devices. It's a very, very good screen. It gets very bright, because even now I have it on, like, the lowest brightness. Pretty low, below half, and it's it's I, it's I still pretty bright. Overall, it, it, I'd say it's a really good screen, and that's a good reason why it's I think it's still a good phone in 2018. Um... You know, Wi-Fi, LTE connection stuff, it, that's f perfect. Mm, there's basically nothing that is wrong with this. Like, everything about this phone is still good. It's not like the the 5S. Or, or the 5S, which is aging now, and it's slow and battery is bad. And the screen on the 5S isn't very good either. It's my sister's. This is why it's got this pop socket. Well, one thing I do like that Apple did is, uh, 
they made it this they made the iPhone 8 the same like size and shape as the 7 so basically every case that fits the iPhone 8 will fit the 7 also which makes this this will last so much longer with cases if I get supported for another like four years or so so I think yeah it's it's great it's still great it other than maybe the battery it's fine it still it feels like it still feels like new uh yeah so in my opinion in 28 in early 2018 i would say the uh the iphone 7 is yes still worth it so if you it so i would say if you have an iphone 7 and you're watching this in early 2018 keep it until like the iphone 11 comes out or <laughs> something but yeah i i i do really like this and it's it's really common too. A lot a lot of people have them. It's it's a very good. It's really cheap now too. So I guess if you're looking for the cheap, good phone, then this is perfect for that. Without being too crazy cheap or not being iPhone X level expensive, or even the iPhone eight, because the cheapest one is um, 32 gigabytes. So that's the one I have. And uh, I I don't even know if I filled up half of it yet. I don't take many pictures and videos, I just download apps and stuff, so, oh, yeah. okay, so, uh, yeah, I think other than that, that's basically it, um, the color options are pretty good, they're, uh, better than the new ones, cause this one's got, yeah, and that black one, which is the one, this is obviously that. There we go. Yeah, this is obviously the matte black one, which, uh, it's my favorite color of that. Oh, yeah, this one also has 3D touch. So yeah, I think uh, in general the uh, it's really, really great for 2018. If you enjoyed this video and.